year is now underway for the Fontana Unified School District, and one educator received national awards for her innovative work in the classroom. That's right. Zara Razi is a math and computer science teacher at Wayne Rubble Elementary Middle School, excuse me, mm -hmm. and she's joining us this morning. Zara, thank you so much for being with us. Sure, my pleasure. Yeah, we understand you're being honored for your impact on STEM education and advancing AI-powered instruction. This is really impressive. Mm -hmm. I understand you're one of only 20 Thank early you. career educators honored around the entire world. Amazing. So tell us more about your passion for teaching and engaging with students in these subjects. Well, um, I, I started my own computer science journey way back in high school. And um, since then, I've been teaching and learning computer science. And as an individual who has seen the impacts of being exposed to technical skills at an early age, I really see the value in it. And I would like to provide that same opportunity for my students. Mm, certainly a trailblazer, Zara. Now, three years ago, <laughs> you launched an initiative called Teaching With and About AI. We want to ask you, why is it important for school systems to prepare students for the natural and the digital world? Well, it... AI is currently shaping the way we live, the way we work, the way we learn. So it is very important to make sure we um, equip our students with the skills to navigate both worlds. And um, the reason we launched this initiative is because we wanted to make sure we focus on both AI literacy and um, AI innovation. Mm. This is amazing. And artificial intelligence, of course, has some benefits for the classroom. What's really cool is you created, we understand, chatbots that can serve as tutors. Wow. That's so impressive. How is it helping your students? How does it work? Well, um, I would like to uh, emphasize on the fact that before I introduce chatbots to my students, I make sure they have developed AI literacy mm -hmm. because unlike other technologies, when it comes to AI, in order to use it properly and get the most out of it, mm -hmm. especially with generative AI, you need to understand uh, what it is and uh, the logic behind how it works. So that is our first step. And then we bring in these chatbots not to replace us teachers, but to um, actually complement our work and enhance our efforts. And uh, through this process, the students are able to um, take their learning one level up by becoming engaged in this cognitive engagement, active learning process where they are articulating their questions, which provides them an opportunity to reflect their, on their own learning. So this is a pattern I see with my students. I see more confidence and I see more engagement. Awesome. And, you know, we see it in the pictures that we saw. I mean, the smiles on the kids' faces and the smile on your face looks like you're having a great time. Uh, and Zara, yeah. there is a lot of concern, of course, right now. We do know uh, there's concern about kids using AI in and out of the classroom. As an yeah. educator, what would you tell parents who may be skeptical of this technology? Well, um, this feeling um, comes from lack of knowledge. So our parents need to educate themselves. And it is also on our school systems to bring parents into uh, the equation when it comes to AI education. They should provide opportunities uh, for both uh, students, educators, and also parents to learn about artificial intelligence and the impl implications of it in um, teaching and learning. Mm. Wow, there is just so much here, and I know parents are concerned, but it sounds like these students are really lucky to have someone who is so passionate and innovative. Congratulations again on all of your recognition. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, Zara, thanks for being with us.